hey guys welcome to another video with me your girl latoya today i'm going to show you how i achieve these affordable quick and easy dread crusher locks on my natural hair but before i get into the video please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below post your comments thumbs up this video and share now let's get started So welcome back guys I've already washed the blow dried and moisturized my hair so now it's time to go in and style so guys the hair that I'll be using for this video is the dreadlock straight crusher hair I purchased this hair in a store along Princess Street in downtown Kingston Jamaica I purchased three packs of this hair with only a thousand Jamaican dollars per pack I only ended up using two packs of this hair because as you can see there are three bundles of hair per pack with each bundle consisting of 12 locks so in total there are 36 locks in this pack of hair I'm not sure if this hair comes in any other colors and or length but for now I'm loving the length and I'm loving the texture of this hair so I'm gonna use my ultra gel wax to achieve this look along with my crochet needle and some clips just to separate my hair so guys I've already went in to plait my hair so what I did was to part from ear to ear and then go in to do these box braid plaits so I plait them in a particular way so when you flip them over they can lay as flat as possible now I like to do center parts and I like to do side parts but I don't like when my center part go way to the middle of my head so what I'm gonna do is part my hair in a particular way so the center part stops midway at the top of my head So what I do guys is when I part my hair I retrace the parted section with my jam so it can be neat and tidy as possible and I also apply the jam to the perimeter of the parted section and then go in and do the plait. So guys in order to achieve the full look you want to part your hair in a particular way so you do not let the parts join together you want to part your hair on top of the box braid itself so in that case the hair falls in between each other so guys I've already went ahead to install the locks at the back portion of my hair and so far I'm loving the look and can I tell you it is so lightweight So now I'm gonna take out the first bundle of hair and this is how it is packaged guys. So guys, this is how the hair looks. It comes with a loop at the very top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my fingers and widen the loop.
I am also going to be using my crochet needle and this is how it looks guys. It comes with a hook and a latch to secure the hair in place. So I'm now going to go in with my crochet needle and I always start from top and then go down. Then I'm going to take the hair where the loop is and place the loop over the needle and secure it with the latch. So once I've secured the hair, I'm going to pull the needle through my plait and once this is done, I'm going to remove the needle and then try to locate the loop again. So now I'm going to take both my natural hair and the braid itself and I'm going to pull both the natural hair and the braid through the loop. Once this is done, I'm now going to separate my natural hair and the braid itself and I'm going to pull my natural hair at the top while pulling on the braid at the bottom. So my natural hair always pull at the top while the braid pulls at the bottom. So guys, now it's time to wrap the braid around your natural hair. So what you want to do is to undo the braid. So you're going to fluff up the braid a bit and then you're going to wrap it around your natural hair. So you want to wrap at the very base of your hair and wrap it twice. So whenever you undo the braid or fluff up the braid, you want to wrap at the same spot twice. This would prevent your natural hair from protruding through the braid. And you're going to continue this process until all your natural hair is covered with the braid. So guys, let us go through this procedure one more time. You take your crochet needle and you put it through your plait and always push from top to bottom. You're going to take your lock here, find the loop and place the loop onto your crochet needle and secure it with the latch. Once this is done, you're going to pull the braid through your plait. Then you're going to set the needle aside, then find the loop again. Then you're going to take both your natural hair and the lock itself, which is the braid, and pull both hair through the loop. You're then gonna separate the braid and your natural hair and pull and always remember that your natural hair goes on top once this is done then you're going to unravel the braid and you only unravel the portion that you're going to wrap at the time once you have unraveled the hair you're going to wrap at the same spot twice and you continue this procedure until all your natural hair is covered with the braid So guys, there are times after wrapping the hair, it tends to be a bit lumpy. So what I do is to place the braid between my hands and rub it together so I can just smooth the hair out a bit.
so guys this is the final look i am truly loving this hairdo guys this hair is so affordable this style is quick and easy to achieve and yes guys you can do it yourself i am truly loving this hair as the texture is very realistic it's very lightweight and it's also easy to style i've been getting a lot of compliments from persons as it relates to the texture and the look and so i am truly loving it i also went ahead to moisturize my scalp using my wild growth air oil but you can use whatever oil it is that you have but i'm just showing you what i use at the time now guys if you're new to my channel thanks for clicking onto my video please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below thumbs up this video post your comments and share i may do a video as to how i style this hair because there are many ways to rock this hairdo guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next week for another video bye guys